Hey, good morning, guys. We're going to do a roller cam install today with the IntelliCenter here. And the first thing I'm going to do is put on this T section right here for the feed going into the system. And you got to make sure that it is on the heater, the exit side going into the pool for the pool return. Do not put it in before the heater. That's this one right here. We do not want this one. It goes in the one after the heater. Here's the roller cam. Here's the system. All power's off. This this is my pump relay right here. And we got everything off. Okay. Everything's off. Everything's pretty much off everywhere. Alright guys, this is where I decided to mount the roller cam <clears throat> right here and not on that wall there. Um, easier for the bucket, straight up and down, and then over to the line here. And the easiest way to do this is mark the roller cam right where the screws are right there on each side. Mark the wall and then take the level and put the level up and then mark your hole again, at least on one side until you get nice and level. And then do it that way. And as you can see, we're right there level. And then what you do is uh, just take the roller cam, put it in, and just like that, you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna wire it up right now, and uh, I'll show you how I do that. All right, later. All right, guys, here's how I wire this up. The ground, I push down into that hole a little bit right there to make room, and then hook up the other two, and just put them in here like this. And we're good to go. Okay, that's it right there. And then the next will be wiring that up to the pump relay. Okay, so let's put the lid top back on this, and then we'll hook up the... Uh, all right guys just got done wiring this up pump relay number one one and three are the line side that's the power continuous two and four are the load side okay of the uh switch so that's all hooked up and about ready to turn this puppy on and and see where we're at there's the uh, roller cam got to put the line on it still and uh and that's about it. Put the cover back on and fire it up. All right, later. Hi right, guys, here we are. Um, now to, to feed this tube, hopefully I can do it with one hand. What you want to do is put it down into continuous mode here. You just take this and feed it around like this. It's kind of hard to do with one hand here, obviously. And, uh, and then that's it right there. Turn it back off. This is the intake side, going to the bucket. This is the return, going into the line, okay? Now let's put the cover back on and uh, cover back on here. All right, we'll put it into uh, continuous mode until the line feeds, okay? So I'll come back when the uh, line starts to feed up. All right, later. All right, guys, I've got it right now in continuous. Lines all primed up. Coins coming down. Got a nice flow going into the pipe. Got to make sure you have your check valve right there because you don't want water to go back in through the system, all right? You're not going to uh, feed. So we've got nice chlorine usage right there. Come down. Hand tighten right here. Snug right here. Take the tube. Put the tube down all the way until it bottoms out and then pull it back up a quarter of an inch and then hand tighten this only. Do not use a wrench on this. Hand tighten only. Okay? Now what we'll do is we'll put it on a timer mode here and we'll put it up to 10%. 10% in about a week, 8 hours a day is 2 gallons of chlorine. Okay? This is going to run for a certain amount of time and then it's going to shut off. For a certain amount of time and then it'll run again for a certain amount of time it's going to constantly keep chlorine in this pool now i don't have to uh, worry about um, running out of chlorine and the customer no longer has to pour the chlorine into the pool got it in the bucket feed line coming in 
tied it into the Intella Center. And now let's see, uh, coming on over here to service mode. Shut the pump off and the roller cam is off, okay? So we're good to go. We know we got it right. So let's put it back into auto mode here and we're good to go, okay? All right guys, that's it, later.